You and your family have one precious day in the Magic Kingdom. Your spouse is exhausted and just wants to sit down. Your kids have thrill ride taste, but they're still dark ride height. Your day's coming to an end, but you haven't been able to check off everything on the list of rides your friends and family told you that you had to ride. How do you decide what to prioritize for your family? Hey everybody, it's Chris for All Ears TV and AllEars.net. Today we're talking about the four best rides in Magic Kingdom according to our viewers. That's right, we went straight to the real experts once again. This list comes from reviews posted on AllEars.net by viewers like you. The fourth best ride in Magic Kingdom, coming in with a rating of 9.3 according to our All Ears audience, Walt Disney World Railroad. Opening with the Magic Kingdom on October 1st, 1971, the WDWRR features four antique locomotives originally manufactured by the Baldwin Locomotive Company. The Walt Disney World uh, Railroad, specifically the Roy Disney engine, is the oldest thing that you'll find in the Magic Kingdom Park because it was first manufactured in 1916. It's actually also the only locomotive in the park that doesn't actually have a locomotive whistle. It is actually from the ferry boats. So it sounds distinctly different from every other locomotive that we have. Let's check out one of our All Ears reviews to get an idea of what people love about this ride. Melissa and Della says, I love the Walt Disney World Railroad. Not only is it a great, relaxing way to get from one area of the park to another, it's an attraction itself. Walt Disney himself was quoted as saying, I suppose I've always been in love with trains. It only takes about 20 minutes for each train to complete a round trip on the Walt Disney World Railroad's main line, so it's actually a legit way to travel around the park. Each of the four locomotives pulls a set of five passenger cars, with seating capacity for 75 passengers per car for a total of 375 passengers per train. That's 15 more people than a monorail holds at capacity. When I worked at Walt Disney World, I had the opportunity to give the Magic Behind Our Steam Trains tour, and part of the training to give that tour was spending a day with the conductors and the engineers actually operating the steam trains. Hands down, one of the coolest things I've ever done is literally operate a 100-year-old steam engine around the Magic Kingdom. You have to ride the train. It's like a condition of selling you a ticket to the park. Sounds like it's a must for Quincy, but is it a must for you and your family? Thrill seekers may not get a charge out of this one, but train enthusiasts and those with an appreciation for the history of American travel will love this uniquely authentic experience. An anonymous reviewer said, wonderful ride around the park, with several other reviews mentioning this ride offers a chance to see inside Splash Mountain. All Ears reviewer Disfet Kayla summed up our feelings by saying, such a great way to take a break on a hot day. Just hop on and ride around the park. The pros. Historic technology. Legitimate form of transportation. Walt loved trains. Cons, not very thrilling. Can take longer than just walking. Some might consider it a waste of precious time in the Magic Kingdom. Our viewer rated third best ride in Magic Kingdom with a rating of 9.3, The Haunted Mansion. This was another opening day attraction in Magic Kingdom. It was decided that the Florida version of the attraction, whose Disneyland predecessor opened in 1969, would be slightly longer and more elaborate than its California counterpart. It is definitely a classic and considered by many to be a must-do when visiting the parks. To find out why, let's hear from another All Ears reviewer. Anonymous said, absolute classic. The theming is brilliant. It's entertaining for all ages. All that being said, should Haunted Mansion be on the must-do list for your family? Reviews mention that the grim, grinning ghosts who inhabit this iconic ride may be too intense for some children. I know it was for mine. An anonymous reviewer said, a little scary and intimidating for kids, but it gets funny and lighter as the ride goes on, and that lines can get pretty long. Despite these complaints, 99% of those who reviewed it said they would recommend it. I am legitimately afraid of the murder bride in the attic. I got stuck next to Constance one time and I still hear her in my nightmares. All Ears reviewer JJK Hughes 04 said, this is one of my favorite rides in Magic Kingdom. The mix of creepy and comedic is perfect. The pros, classic Disney, incredible Imagineering, 
spooky fun for all ages. Cons, long wait times, not very thrilling, too intense for some children. The second of best ride in Magic Kingdom, according to our audience, at a rating of 9.36, it's Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Designed by Imagineer Tony Baxter and ride designed by Bill Watkins, the original concept came from legendary Imagineer Mark Davis's concept for a Western River Expedition, a proposed but abandoned idea for a Western-themed pavilion in Magic Kingdom. To get a better understanding of why our reviewers picked it as one of the best, let's hear from another review from AllEars.net. Joanna said, Thunder is a great start for a vacation and for beginners on riding roller coasters. It doesn't have big drops, but it goes fast enough to get your blood flowing. My child started on this ride when she was six and has loved it ever since. Where you are sitting in Big Thunder Mountain, which row is really gonna make or break your attraction experience. If you are sitting in the front, it's fun. If you are sitting in the back, it is amazing. There is nothing like a ride in row 15 of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. It's one of my favorite things in all of Disney. You've heard me giggle. <laughs> I think it's safe to say there's a consensus among the All Ears staff that this ride is best enjoyed from the back row. But that's assuming you and your family have chosen to ride it in the first place. Should you make Big Thunder Mountain Railroad a priority for your family? Several of your reviews mention that this ride is even loved by people who aren't big roller coaster fans or even fans of rides in general. There are lots of mentions about how long the line gets, but at the same time, a reviewer named Jessica Bonnell said, The line tends to move quickly and there are some activities in the queue to keep you occupied if you don't have a fast pass. Despite the occasional complaint, most reviewers recommend this ride. All Ears reviewer Mirabeth98 said, Truly the wildest ride in the wilderness, always fun, and added, great theming, exactly what a roller coaster should be. The pros, fun for the whole family, great theming, a thrill level that's just right for many guests. Cons, long lines, still too thrilling for some, not thrilling enough for others. And finally, the number one best ride in Magic Kingdom, according to you, coming in at an impressive 9.71, Splash Mountain. Tony Baxter did it again. He originally conceived of Splash Mountain in the summer of 1983 while stuck in a rush hour traffic jam on his way back to work as a way to achieve three goals. One, utilize the many animatronics from the America Sings attraction in Disneyland that had recently been made available by its closure. Two, bring a higher level thrill ride to the park in order to please Michael Eisner's teenage son. And three, use the iconic Disney song, Zippity Doo Dah. Let's find out why you picked this as your favorite ride in the Magic Kingdom. Here's another review from a viewer like you. Meg Yavowich says, love Splash. Perfect combo of animatronic entertainment and thrill ride. My whole family loves it and it is definitely a must do for everyone in our party, grandparents included. It features a thrilling 50-foot drop at a 45-degree angle, and it's pretty much guaranteed you're gonna get wet. Splash Mountain is a classic, and I always have fun anytime I ride it, especially when I make Morgan sit on the right side, which notoriously gets wetter. So Splash Mountain will be a lot better when next time I make Molly sit on the right side of me. <laughs> I'm so mean. Just because it got the highest rating of all the rides in Magic Kingdom on all ears, will it be something that everyone in your family loves? Our viewer review said this ride has it all. From thrills to theming, a whopping 100% of you say you recommend this ride. It's hard to argue with that. On the other hand, that drop is intense. My little one screamed and still thinks about that when she sees videos of it. And it may be way too much for a lot of your family. This ride has also been in the Disney news a lot lately because of the company's announcement that it will be closed for refurbishment and reopened as a Princess and the Frog themed ride. We've got high hopes for this new version, but we'll see if it can hang on to its crown. All Ears reviewer Cindy Doth called Splash Mountain my all-time favorite Disney World ride. So much fun for the whole family. My family and I are always laughing at the end of the splash. Pros, thrills and theming iconic soundtrack, fun for the whole family. Cons, 
That final drop is intense. Lines get very long. You do run the risk of getting soaked. Everybody has an opinion. That's why we want you to express yours at allears.net because if you haven't reviewed these rides, your opinion hasn't been taken into consideration. And we want these lists to be all about what you think. Who knows? Maybe your review will be featured in a future episode. If you like this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up. Be sure to stay tuned to All Ears TV and AllEars.net. Follow us on Instagram at AllEarsNet. New to the channel? Check out our other All Ears videos right here and please subscribe to All Ears Net. Clang the little notification bell so you immediately get notified when we post a new video. This is Chris for All Ears TV. See you next time. <laughs>